we're going to rub and strip, right? For one low price. Hell yeah. So there is advantages. I like that. female thing when he said what if oh there's one thing that a guy said to me the other day he's like are we gonna we're gonna rub and strip these right <laughs> now, talking about say, rubbing the concrete and stripping the forms was it was he right? aware of this when he said it or did, did it just hundred percent it was like yeah. we're gonna <laughs> rub and strip right i'm like <laughs> Like, you know. Yeah, is it someone you knew well enough to play along, or did you call him out for crossing the line? How do you handle that kind of thing? I don't call HR, I call myself. I just, I said, yes, we're going to rub, patch, and strip. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> and for one low price. I bet he got that shit done well, too. <laughs> two days, two days, two guys, two million bucks. Go. <laughs> Hell yeah. There you oh, go. Well, so there is advantages. I like that. <laughs> oh, Things you just brush over. What do you think about that ditch witch? Yeah, you find that yet? This this ditch witch is <laughs> amazing. <laughs> like some of these things are almost self-propelled. <laughs> <laughs> and you on you the farm. And you're out there on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I'm this. looking at a mini skid steer riding platform. Boss, I right? I told her to dig that ditch. I don't fuck a ditch up on that ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Me, that witch, and that ditch, it's all over with. All <laughs> over. Yeah, so whatever you were trying to say is irrelevant now that you know there's a better way, right? Exactly. Uh, I, I have stuff learned. Thank you. Well. Contract yeah, discovery. Well. Yeah, yeah contractors. Who who should we get to sponsor this? Who's the ditch witch you're looking at? Which one is it? Uh, this is the Brave Pro. All right, Brave Pro. A little shout out to you and your ditch yeah, witch. That, that, <laughs> Unsolicited. That's funny. Well, <laughs> this, uh, this episode brought to you by Brave Pro. <laughs> but not in but, it, it just happens. Yeah. But, hey, you gotta make it. You gotta make that pocket. You gotta make that change. You got those beer tokens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not Corona, we hadn't. So, all right. Well, well, well. He, what do you say to the guy, whether it's superintendent or whomever? What do you say to the guy who says, "I've been doing this shit thirty years my way. I'm not wanting to look at it your way." In regard to what safety? No, not safety. Just. Operation in general, on, on, yeah, like basically means and measures. On oh process. man, I'm gonna be honest with you. First, I'm gonna rein him in and make him think that he's teaching me. I'm gonna say, How would you like to do it Perfect then? Perfect answer. That's my what answer. is your idea? Well, Why, that, yes, exactly. I mean, what are you thinking? You have so much experience. I want to know why. Why do you think that? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dive right into who they are what makes them who they are why they think that way and i'm i'm not i'm gonna stop in my tracks and so i'm gonna hear them out what makes that, you have that conviction with someone basically oh. and and yeah, yeah I, and i know that's that's actually something that was unlike this podcast or this <laughs> where i feel like i'm just talking at yeah. you guys the whole yeah. time <laughs> well you you got it we brought you in for a reason but no really that's yeah. that is a that is something that i i think is is a good skill for a manager is you know obviously people skills but rather than talk at you should talk with and getting yeah. them to maybe not not he's not trying to win over a conversation because in the end you know the pm can say hey look well i'm the boss you do it this way you know I, if it goes bad i'll it's tell him to you know, yeah but you know <laughs> even if it's my pm even if it's my pm i'll tell him mm, no <laughs> But the reason why, there's a reason, there's a reason. I have been talked at my whole life. My brother talked at me, right? You bring an idea, talk at you. Go ahead. It's, it's because of my own, it's my own, like I wanna be heard, female, male, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah. Everyone wants to be heard and they probably have a valid 
fucking reason yeah. for what it is that is making them so hell bent on this point and issue. So once you kind of dive into what that is, and you can call it what you want, but I'm a good salesperson. I'm really good at it. When I'm dealing with people out in the field, when I'm dealing with the guy at the grocery store, whatever. For example, in a best and final meeting, in my first question to an owner, when we're getting ready to talk about their job, first question, every time, tell me how, congratulations, tell me how you got here. Why am I in this room? They think we're coming in there to go over the scope of work, the estimate that they've probably done two or three other times. And then I, they start to open it. I'm like, hey, wait, 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 congratulations. And I'm genuine, I'm being sincere. I really mean it, right? Because right. I want to then learn. By no, no, and it's, it's a genuine, and I just have that. I know you have to be able to identify your qualities and strengths. And again, I give so much credit to my husband. He's the one, right? He didn't want to go into general contracting work because he doesn't like doing the side of the business that I do. But whether I'm talking about safety, whether I'm talking about whatever it is I'm doing, whether I'm closing a deal, trying to get someone to email me back, there's, I, I say congratulations because I admire business owners and people that can get to that place in their life. I'm grinding right now. I'm trying to get there. I know what it takes. And if someone's going to sit down as a subcontractor and say, how did you get here? What'd you do? But you know, um, so to your point, if someone after 30 years has their own mindset, their own way of doing it, me, my husband, my project manager, my superintendent, yeah. we need to ask him why. We need to hear him out. Yeah. We need to give him an opportunity to talk about it. And we need to then hopefully when I give him that respect first, he will give me some respect as well. And that's what I mean. Then it can be reciprocal and we can actually have the culture change we're talking about. We can discuss um, ways and ideas. And now we're collaborating. There you go. Now yeah. we're partners. It is. It is. I, I like the way that's put to, you know, and, and just to, to have so many people not see it that way, you know, it's just, how do you break through to people? You know, you're really here to try to <laughs> do what's better. You know, how do you break through to some people? I have one for you. This happened last week. I send out these beautiful emails to our guys, all our subs, Beautiful team emails. group emails. They're well emails. written, giving people credit. <laughs> I'm like doing all, checking all the boxes. It's like if I wrote a book, I opened the book, checked all the boxes, all right? Uh -huh. Go out to the job site meeting and I'm like, well, it was Corona update. It was our Corona management plan. Right. We get out to the job site and they're like, oh, are we gonna be able to get inspections? I'm like, did you read the email? No, I don't have fucking time for that. And I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> like, Oh, that's a beautiful email. The guy's 50. He's run his company. He's like, yeah. He's that guy. He's that guy. This is the same guy that I spoke of previously that is showing me conduits, that's oh, teaching yeah. me about electrical work. Oh, it's about we went from that conversation to boop. Now he's teaching me stuff. Yeah. It's just, wow. you we're, now we're great. Yeah. Now we're great. And then in our last meeting, which was Thursday yesterday, I was like, I'll follow up with the meeting minutes. I know you're not going to read it, Sean. And he's like, <laughs> I might read it now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And whether he does or doesn't, we have camaraderie now. So you if know, you had not shown starting... up on site that day, he would have known not shit about that email. Um, not only did he, he saw it and told me to my face that he didn't care about it. <laughs> So what should I, as a, as an egotistical human being and a lot of you men, you know what a lot of you men would have done? Cause I've watched y'all do it. Oh, well, if you don't read my fucking email, well, what's the point? I'm trying to communicate with you. And you're like, not even going to get in it with him. You're going to tell him, you're going to read him right up one down the other. And I just kind of was like, it was a really good email. <laughs> oh, come on. But, but let me tell that. you what it said. Yeah, <laughs> you can try, you can say, no. You can say, well, let me, no, you would go like this. You're like, well, oh, let me get my phone out. Let me read it to you <laughs> right me. now then. That's me. Yeah. You don't have Let it. me get it out and yeah. show you. Are you I not seeing the email I sent you? Yeah. Oh, you didn't read that revision, that job drawing that they sent you? You didn't get that from the architect? No. I'm, I'm just not getting Oh, you didn't email. see that? I have a read receipt from you that you opened it, you know? And you're like, this. so you're going to beat him to death with the technology. You didn't know. Yeah, and we got to use, and, and we got to see each other every day. You know what I mean? We and we got to see each other for the next three, four months. We got to work together, but y'all want to go about it that way. Yeah. Nice. Someone, do you want to hear about the email? 
Are you there? I'm, 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 am I back now? Can you're you back, all you're back. Yeah, you got You're back, back okay. in black. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be so much editing or not. I was I, well, much. you know, I was I was warming up my dance moves because I was gonna start announcing our name. Yeah, yeah. If you just struggle, struggle a little. Marinov. Marinov. I'm never gonna live that one. That's gonna at least make blue <laughs> real. We didn't. We didn't get those guys out there on Saturday like we said we would. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, maybe. you got, you you have to tell the people. That's an inside joke. You have to tell the people what we're talking about. Maybe maybe we're changing the culture too much here. Maybe we're pushing a little bit. More stuff will show up if you don't. Yeah, more if, if you shrug your you shoulders, don't. Sean and I are going to shrug his shoulders. And, and, yeah, no one wants to see this shit. Nobody wants to see it, you know. Just get the name right. Well, I'll get it right from now. I won't screw that up again, Sean. I know. Sean! <laughs> I can't stop it now. It's you, want me to do, you want me to do some more, more mace? I can start rapping again. I do. Drop it. <laughs> This, this, I mean, if the beat is right, I'll dance all night. Yeah, Sean. <laughs> it's in your blood. <laughs> <laughs>